Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in AFK Journey on mobile. And also I will show you my guide for Blue Stack after that. We're going to start with the mobile uh, section. So first of all, if you have a Samsung phone, I recommend to go to Game Plugins. And I'm pretty sure you have something else when you're using an iPhone or whatever phone that you're currently using. The first thing that you want to add is your performance Z. So you want to see your frame rate, CPU usage, GPU usage. Those stats are really important. Your temperature also to make sure that you optimize your phone well. And also I recommend to activate the Game Booster Plus. Go to IFK Journey, go to Custom Mode and make sure that you're using max FPS if you want FPS. If you want a balanced experience, you can definitely go balance. And if you just want high quality image, you can go to high quality. When you did that, press apply. So let's go back to the game. We're going to go to the settings section over there. So graphics. So the first one is resolution. The thing that you need to understand, HD is considered medium. On SEI is thinking a lot of your resources. Normally, uh, I to medium, you will save 6% of your FPS. Medium to low, another 4%. And low to very low, I saw 2% different. So my recommendation is go with low. Uh, after the old guide, if you uh, you have a lot of FPS and you think you, go, you can go higher, definitely go higher. But low is a good optimization parameter for uh, good quality and also a good amount of FPS. Same thing with anti-aliasing, you can definitely go with low, not a huge difference in the image quality between low and medium. And if you compare to high, you're getting a nice 4% boost in your FPS. So my recommendation is go with low. Environment detail, I didn't see a big improvement between low and very low. So my recommendation is go with medium. You're going to lose like 2% of FPS if you compare with very low. But when you go with high and very high, I saw like some 3-4% to drop for each bracket. So my recommendation is go with medium. For VFX detail, uh, if you're dropping like crazy when you see animation, when you're battling and stuff like that, definitely low seems a good uh, parameter right now. Um, so if you're getting crazy drop, even at low, definitely test very low. It should help. Image upscaling, you deactivate this. Bloom, you want to deactivate it. And the last one is your amount of FPS frame rate. I recommend to go with 120 if you have a 90 Hz monitor, uh, but like a screen, <laughs> sorry, on your mobile or... Uh, 120 hertz uh, screen if your phone is like at 60 you definitely lock your fps at 60 you don't want to create too much temperature in your phone in my case i'm running well with the ultra 23 right now i'm using a hub to capture my phone so i'm locked at 60 but normally when i run the game i'm in between 90 and 110 so uh definitely it, it's pretty good but if you have issues with your temperature Definitely lock your FPS at 60. You will have a decent experience on a slat 60. So now let's go to blue stack. I'm going to show you the best settings. So now in blue stack, so let's go to settings. So if you have a pretty good computer, definitely graphic. You can go higher than this. You can put everything at very high if you want. I still recommend to deactivate the image upscaling in the bloom. And the game seems to be locked at 60 FPS. So now I did my change over there. Uh, even if you see the amount of FPS over there, it's the blue stack FPS. So the game honestly run at 60. I don't feel this game running at 120. So I'm pretty sure they locked it. I make sure that you update from the uh, latest version of blue stack. It's a lot better for IFK journey. Also, I want to mention super important to activate your virtualization on your CPU. It's in your BIOS. I can't really show you because it really depends on if you have an Intel processor, AMD and the brand of your motherboard. So just Google it. It will help you a lot. After that, go to the settings. So CPU location to run this game, you need i4 cores. Uh, if you go under then that, you're going to like lag like crazy. So if you have a really old computer with only two cores uh, for your CPUs, I don't think you can run the game properly. So and if you have more than that, go to custom like me. I just put six core over there for the memory allocation. You need to go. 4 gig, I did some tests. You can run it at 30 FPS, but if you want the game at 60, you definitely go 8. And if you have more than 8 on your computer, like you have a 16 gig uh, of RAM, definitely go extreme. High performance, go to high performance over there. Uh, you don't need the high frame rate on AFK Journey. It's like at 60 on the blue stack. So definitely you can uncheck this and just run it at 60 if you want. I like to stay at 120 because I'm running other games. So I don't want to change my parameter each time. 
Uh, for the display, always I always recommend to go with uh, 1600 by 900. Uh, when you got 1080p and higher, you will see it takes a lot of resources. Super important also to ch change it in portrait when you're playing games in portrait mode. So same thing, go with this resolution. Pixel density, stay at 240. And this is pretty much shit for this. So graphic after that, OpenGL Auto Software Decoding. Super important to use your GPU if you have a GPU over there. So make sure it's activated in the preferred dedicated GPU. And the last one is your phone. It really depends for AFK journey. Uh, honestly, the S22 Ultra is running well. Sometimes I have some issue or uh, your game is locked for whatever reason. Uh, you can definitely run the Xiaomi uh, 11 T Pro. Uh, sometimes it's better. So definitely do some testing over there uh, and it will run properly. So this is pretty much it, guys, for the mobile and the blue stack guide. If you have any question, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your mobile and your region because sometimes uh, the chip inside of your phone will change. If it's for blue stack, just tell me uh, what kind of PC that you have, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.